Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are, this course is Torbett's Velocity. I was going to have some in-game sound and everything, but I had technical difficulties and I got to do it this way. Okay, so this is about uh, three new weapons. Um, this part is going to be at the beginning of all three weapons. They're going to be in separate videos. Basically, you arrive at uh, Lion's Ark. And you'll immediately get an email. You can see it at the top left corner of my screen right there. You see my email is lit up with a one. I just clicked on it. And it brings up a book. And this book actually describes the specific materials needed to create a um, crystal in order to activate the collection for three new weapons. Now these new weapons are a sword, a great sword, and a torch. There was a contest a while back. Um, people were asked to draw or design weapons, and three winners would be put in the game. These are the three winners. They were put in the game. And I'll go ahead and show you the design of the specific uh, crafting stuff. Okay, so here we are. We're at the Mystic Forge. And, yeah, there's a little bit of lag. I have a junkie and the basic materials that you're going to need to craft the item is uh, three vials of blood. You're going to need 13, uh, or I'm sorry, six um, sapphire orbs, uh, 15 globs of ectoplasm, and two lesser vision crystals. And that will give you the ectoplasm infused vision crystal. Uh, what you'll do after that basically is you're going to double click on that and it will actually form the specific uh, needed item the I'm sorry the specific uh, collections that you need to activate sorry I'm trying to watch the video and speak at the same time I can't walk and chew gum as you can see on the right side the three collections have been activated and basically, this is at the beginning of all three weapons. They're going to be in separate videos, just in case, because some people don't use torches or great swords or regular swords. So they don't need that one if they don't want it. So therefore, I put this at the beginning of all three, all right? So as soon as the intro is done, you guys are going to see it. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are, this course is Corvus Wasty, but you can call me Corey. What's up? Alright, so this is the video on the. Uh, sorry, I just stupidly forgot what it was called. It's the torch for the uh, weapons contest winners. There is a design a weapon contest, and this was one of the three winners. This one is called the Torch. The actual name for it is the Legend Builder Torch. And sufficiently you've already gotten the first part. Um, I put the first part at the beginning of all three videos so that you can see how to get it just in case. And basically you want to start in the Dreadnought Cliffs. Here we are. Dreadnought the Dreadnought Cliffs, Dredge Haunt Cliffs, and you want to go to this waypoint. It's called the Growlpool Waypoint. And we are going to go I'm trying to remember how to draw again. We're going to go right over to here. It's in this area. So let's begin our journey. And a lot of times I like to do this just in case there's a uh, mount abilities so that you can see the mount abilities and the non mount abilities in case you don't have a mount now for the each one has a different character this one his name is Bakken and you are okay uh-huh that's nice move on all right and that's all you do for the first part <laughs> well second part whatever you want to say okay go into the next all right so here we are at the next one and basically we're just gonna go straight over this way to right here so you just walk down a road uh, if you have a mount you can 
kind of move yourself a little quicker. And I went the wrong way. Oops. I made the map, and I'm the one that went the wrong way. So you go from the waypoint through this area here. And you'll go straight across this bridge. And like I said, um, I do it with and without mounts so that you can see both ways. But dredge not the dredge haunt cliffs, I don't really see you needing it too much. Ugh. Obviously, you're going to have to fight some stuff here and there. And they're going to make me really mad in a minute, and I'm going to pull out some serious power. That's it. I'm not playing with these guys anymore. And, of course, I got the wrong guy. That's okay. <laughs> Haven't played in a while. Gotta give me a minute. <laughs> now, you'll talk to Bakken right here. And that'll take care of the next part for you. And I'll see you at the next one. Alright, so this one, fairly easy. Just go right inside the cave. I'll bring up the map. I'm running the wrong way. We're basically going to go right down this way and inside the cave. And again, uh, another one, you really don't need a mount. There's, I mean, the mount will just make you get there quicker, but you don't need the mount per se. I think I'm, nope. thought I was going the wrong way for a second there. And you run this way, past Mr. Dolyak, past the other Dolyak past some of these ice elemental jerks right into the dredge cave hi guys how you doing and he should be around here someplace okay according to what I'm shown he was right there <laughs> eh we're all given uh, false information at times there he is alright so you come in that entrance and you go down these stairs my apologies and he's right there they didn't tell me I had to go downstairs <laughs> and that's all you do and now we'll go to the next one here we are at another one this one's a little bit more of a pain in the butt so you want to start here at the Dalcio, Dalcio, whatever, that waypoint. And you were right here. And this one's in the southeast corner. And basically, we're going to be going to this hero point. Which, yeah, that's a lot of fun. Now remember, even if you have a mount, if I'm not mistaken, this is an area you cannot use a mount on. Nope. I was thinking somewhere else. My bad. Alright, so we're going to stop here. And we're going to mark the hero point. That way we can see it. And find the right path inside the cave. <laughs> see, there's multiple paths. So you got to find the right path. And then go for it. And I'm not going to deal with these guys, so I'm just going to do this my way. Just talk to him. Well, I'll figure out why I can't talk to him and get back to you guys on that one. Alright. Can I not talk to him because of that? Alright, but that's where he is. 
right there on the map. Walk through there and right there. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Alrighty, so we're at the next one. I may not be able to show you the torch. Um, that last one glitched on me and it won't let me talk to him. Uh, I gotta figure out what's going on there. Uh, but the next one is roughly about there. You want to come into the waypoint. It is called Tribulation Waypoint. It's right there. Southwest corner. And you want to go through here. Now this is the one I believe that you have to go through somewhat of a little mini jumping puzzle to get to it. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, see, entering where mounts are not allowed. So you can't use your mount in this area. You have to kind of walk like a normal person. <laughs> so anyone who doesn't have a mount, don't worry about it. Nobody has a mount. You just, ah, need to get through this. Ah, stop it. Yeah. Now most people, they try to make it look like they're gods of the jumping puzzles and they only show you their, you know, their flawless ones. I ain't gonna do that, because that would be a lie. <laughs> Again, if I was shrunk, that'd be different. Because for some reason, when I'm tiny, I can do these. When I'm a giant Norn, and eh, not so much. Uh, forgot where to go from here. Sorry. <laughs> I believe up here. Ah, don't fall. Don't. He fell. Like I said, I'm not going to show you myself being a god of jumping puzzles because I'm not a god of jumping puzzles. Now, if I was tiny, yeah, I'd be through this already. But I'm not tiny, so I'm not through this already. <laughs> Just trying to get up. Let me up. I know I'm fat and I can't fit through the bars too well. Leave me alone. Get up there up there get up there over there uh, is he further up or is he... all right let me find him and see what's going on here do, 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 do. sorry about this guys all right according to this he should be somewhere around here um shoot I think because it glitched on me, he's not here. But according to a picture I'm looking at, he should be... Technically, he should be like somewhere right around in this area right here, actually. So, take a look around. He's on this tower. And, uh, yeah. That's where the next one should be, but again, it glitched for me, so I'll try and figure that out. Alright, so I figured out what happened. Um, if you get into a fight when you're around the ghost, and that specific... I don't know if it'll work in all, if that happens in all of them, but it did work in that one. Um, it glitched them out, and I had to log out and log back in. Not the whole game, just log out my character and log him back in. Go to the character select screen. And he's right here, so we'll talk to him. Uh, I thought it was down here, but you just go right up here to where he's, uh, where Rockman's standing. And you just jump over to, from there to here, and he'll be standing right there. Alright, so we'll go to the next one. Alright, so for this one, um, this is the last one. Uh, it's basically uh, right here. You go back to this grapple waypoint. Jump over the fence. Jump in here. And right inside, there he is again. Now this time you want to make sure that you have, and it's the same price as all the other ones, an oiled Ori Calcum torch head. It's about four and a half to seven gold, depending on how many are being sold at the time. And you must leave, be remembered, yada yada yada, he's gone, open that, accept, go to inventory, yada yada yada, so forth and so on, add that, berserker I guess, I don't know, I'm not going to use it anyway, 
go back in here because it didn't activate it. <laughs> and there you go. That's the new uh, torch. It may look better than this. I don't know. But that's what it looks like for me. Um, again, low graphics, bad computer. Alright, so. There it is. That is the torch. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, there's two more. One with the great sword, one with the regular sword. Um, I put them in uh, different videos so that they're split up for you. So that you don't have, you know, so you're not barreled down on them. Alright, so. Later days.